Hi, this is Sal Barry of PuckJunk.com, and today we're going to talk about the first hockey set of the 2010-11 season, Upper Deck Victory. Penguins captain Sidney Crosby is on the box and on the wrapper of this year's victory cards, just like he was on the wrapper in 2009, and 2008, and 2007, and 2006. Some things never change, just like Upper Deck Victory. It's like getting lunch at McDonald's. It's cheap and filling. You know exactly what you're going to get. But it also never surprises you. And like the past few years, the set is made up of 200 base cards and 50 short printed victory rookies. There's also 50 game breakers insert cards and 50 stars of the game insert cards. But most of us would rather have another rookie card instead of some useless insert. Anyway, on to the review. Player selection, 3 out of 5. So each team is given 6 or 7 cards apiece. You'll get all the top players from each team, but that's really it. Did we really need 7 Maple Leaf cards? How about some more Blackhawks or Flyers? Those teams went to the finals and are deserving of more than just a few cards each. But victory keeps things fair. It tries to appeal to everyone by representing all of the teams more or less equally. Card Front Design 3 out of 5 Usually, victory cards have a subpar design. Mediocre action photos, and sometimes the word VICTORY ghosted behind the player. This year, though, the design is pretty good. A giant V, for victory of course, is behind each player. It's an interesting design element as it adds some diagonals which help imply motion. And while the card is framed by white borders on all four sides, both the giant V and the player breaks out of the border, making the design a bit more dynamic. Stats and information, 2 out of 5. Upper Deck has some sort of aversion to putting complete statistics on the back of their hockey cards. This year's victory set, like umpteen victory sets before it, only have the past 5 years of stats and the player's career totals. I guess stats on the back of cards are less important in the internet age, when you can just look up things on the computer. The back of each card also lists the player's height, weight, if they shoot left or right, or catch left or right if they're a goalie, and their birth date. One helpful bit of information is how to pronounce the player's name. Thanks to these cards, I know how to pronounce some of the hardest names in the NHL, such as Guillaume Latandras, Simeon Varlamov, and Tim Thomas. Victory Rookie Subset 2 out of 5. Victory has 50 rookie cards of players who debuted late in the previous season. You get one Victory rookie card in every two packs, meaning that you'd have to buy 100 packs of Victory in hopes of getting the complete rookie subset. Upper Deck refers to these rookies as holdover rookies because they made their debut in the previous season, but I call them leftover rookies. It's hard to get excited about leftovers. It's hard to get excited about most of these rookie cards too. Like this guy who played two games last season and got two penalty minutes. Yay! Or this guy who played one game for the Rangers last year, but this year he's now playing for a team in Italy. Guess this card's gonna pay for my grad school. P.K. Subban and Nazim Kadri are in the set, and those look like pretty good rookie cards to have. But once hockey season begins and better products start rolling out, these cards won't be too high on anyone's list. If you like cheap food, uh, I I mean, if you like cheap hockey cards and just care about the base set, then victory isn't a bad choice. The base set is relatively small and shouldn't be hard to put together or pick up complete at a card show. But if you want those 50 short printed victory rookies, then putting this together is going to be a challenge. You might want to save your time and money for a set with more appealing rookie cards. Final rating, 2 out of 5.